Hello and welcome to my unboxing. Yeah, um, we are going to be unboxing a very cool little uh, piece of uh, device here. Uh, but uh, yeah, let us see what we can find. Let me just get my trusty unboxing knife here. <laughs> um, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? How we do this? I think I'm just gonna. Start poking holes anywhere here. Ooh. Almost. And of course, there is the red line that you need to pull. Okay. Um. Well, let's do the same with this one. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. It was there. Cool. Then <laughs> I don't know why I love doing it with this one, it's so awesome. Okay. Yeah. Oh by the way kids, don't do this at home. Okay, it's actually look. It's like it's like spindle whipped into the box. Okay. Jesus heck Christ! What the fuck? What? What the fuck have they done to it to stick it so goddamn? It's, it's completely which in the okay. Fine. Give me, give me my box. Thank you. Stupid. Ah, yes. Here we go. You can't see a goddamn thing, but that's cool. Um, yeah. So, we are going to... <laughs> no, eh, thought, didn't you? Ah. Here it is. Woo! Here it is, guys. The Razer Naga Epic Chroma. So yeah, you might have uh, been uh, looking a little bit of my, on my background here. You're probably wondering, what the bloody fuck? Well, um, I've been waiting for this product to come out and be affordable for me. And I actually, yeah, well, I contacted Razer asking if I could um, maybe do a... Um, you know, a review of uh, this product and uh, stuff like that. If they would, um, well, give me a good price and stuff like that. So, yeah. I paid half of what it usually costs. So, hence why my background. So, I'll be right back after these messages. So what do you think, guys? <laughs> Pretty epic, huh? So yeah, um, there's still some things we need to do before we can get the yeah, star of the show out here. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, slide to the side. This one is just a little hollow thing here. Okay, here we go. Oh, still more. Or... Ah, we open it like this, I think. Yeah. And it... <laughs> it goes up like that. Oh, that's cool. 
you open it up and then it folds up towards you. Here we got all the things, we got the stickers, we got all of the warranties and stuff like that, neatly packed into a little, uh, where you just have to rip here and stuff like that, that's cool. Uh, I'll just show you. It's actually got this padded foam right here. We'll take it off. There we have the mouse. Oh. <laughs> we have... Oh my god, this thing has some weight to it. It's the stand uh, in where the mouse goes in. Just peel off this bottom layer right here. And it's got some weight to it. Oh shit. I just realized that this bottom layer is actually in ad adhesive. Um... That's why I'm going to place this thing back on it again. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> Maybe you should have read the instructions. Yeah. But I think this type of adhesive is uh, reusable like stuff. So I'm just going to leave that on there. There we go. It's, it's an adhesive, so um, I think it's, you can uh, wash it off with... Uh, I think it's dish soap. You have to wash it off with and then leave it to dry. You have, don't uh, dry it off with a cloth or anything. Just leave it to dry in the air and then you can use it again. I think it's that kind of adhesive, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep this plastic on here for now. And here we got the uh, cord. Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh my God! This is a golden. This is a, it's a gold filament. Oh damn! Braided, of course. Uh, nylon braided. New age instead of those, uh, you know, with uh, yeah. Uh, now it's a rubber band instead. Okay, how long is this baby? Ooh. Okay, this is well long enough. So yeah, this is really long. But before we get to the mouse, I would like to show you <laughs> what happened to my old mouse. How? And uh, yeah, we are outside. This is the mouse that we're gonna kill. And this here, <laughs> this here is two tons of 4x4 awesomeness. So let's just go over here on this side over here. Ah, yeah. I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, yeah. Let me just get a good look here. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I think this thing is pretty much dead. Okay, seriously guys? This mouse is epic. I mean it's dead, but I would have expected I would have expected it to be much more crushed than this. <laughs> well, I guess there's no other choice. We're gonna have to do the ground impact test. Get a good swing on it here. Are you ready? I hope I can. Gotcha, bitch. Damn, oh, son. Crap. <laughs> There's a cord, some of the pieces. 
over here is the bigger piece. Yeah, this mouse is pretty much dead. And here's the battery. Of course, I'm gonna expose of that in the right way. But yeah, that is one dead mouse for you. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, um, it had to die. The old mouse had to die. So here we go. We are now picking up the Razer Naga Chroma. Here it is, guys. Let me just try and get this in my hand here. Cool. Boy. I still <laughs> yeah. It has a good feel to it. It does. This one, of course, we're going to peel that off. Damn. This thing is amazing. All the buttons and stuff. And the button layout is really good. Uh, just have it down here on the mouse pad beside me. It's really good. I can reach all of them, even the ones all the way inside uh, the hand. And they are hard, like, you really have to do some effort to push them down. So you can still reach, rest your thumb on it uh, and still have full control and not uh, accidentally pushing them. You have to push them. It, they are really good, actually. He's nice. And, of course, the on-off button. All the different types of materials. I, li I, like, I, like, the, I like the grill right in front here. It's, it's a little like a little grill. It's like a car, you know? It's pretty cool. Okay, and that's it for the case. There's nothing else in it, other than the case itself is is cool as hell. And you open it up, and it pulls up the uh, mouse like that. I would suggest that you hold on to the case because it is cool as fuck. And then you just put on the sleeve here, the Razer Naga Epic sleeve. Nice. Um, yeah. I'm gonna be right back, you guys, and I will have installed uh, the things on it. And yeah, you see, uh, there the hole goes for uh, this one. Yeah, like so. Oh, nice. Uh, when you put it onto the mouse, it just stays there. It's pretty good and solid, but there's no release button. On my other, on my uh, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my Mamba uh, mouse, you had to uh, do a release button, but here, you just pull it out. Sweet. I love that. I really do. So, see you in a bit, and I will have uh, the mouse installed, and we will see what we can, what kind of uh, cool colors we can get out of it. Catch in a bit. And here we are. Inside the uh, Razer's... Um, uh, what the fuck is it called? I keep forgetting. Uh, Synapse. Razer Synapse. Yeah. Oh, right here is Configurator, but it is Razer Synapse. So yeah, um, as you can see, I got a Razer, I got a Razer and Store uh, keyboard. Cool. But yeah, this is the mouse we are looking at. And uh, up here we have key maps. We got tons of key maps. And uh, the screw. Uh, apparently, button number one is clocked. You can unlock it, but yeah, don't worry. Uh, I don't think you would need to, but then there's all the buttons on the side. Cool. And we've got performances. Uh, we can go from 100 all the way up to 8200 DPI. It's at uh, 1800 at the moment. Whew, damn. Uh, the number of dots per inch DPI, dot per inch, of mouse movement. Holy crap. Right now it's cool. It's accelerator from side to side and stuff like that. That's... I haven't done anything with this, but here is what we are looking at. The lighting effect. <clears throat> right now, it's um, uh, uh, it just set to cycle through the... Shut up! Uh, cycle through the different uh, types here. Let me just... Uh, uh, oh my god. Yeah, let me... <laughs> oh. Get my green screen in. There we go. And then get some light on it. There you go. Bam. And it works. <laughs> As you can see. Oh uh, yeah. 
it's it's hard it's hard to see. Well, maybe. Oh. Yeah, you can see a little bit that it's cycles through the different uh, colors. So yeah, um, we can go static, and then we can change the color to everything, uh, anything we want. For example, yellow. Okay, that's only the uh, that's only the mouse wheel. Okay, let's do let's uh, leave that as as it is. Let's go here. These let's go yellow. Are they going yellow? Yeah, I think they are. Uh, it's they are. <laughs> it's a bit hard to see actually. Oh. Ah, okay. Bam! There we go. It's because I have it in 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 court mode. <laughs> yeah, they had taken away. Uh, they had the green screen thing. Yeah, sorry about that. Apparently, that color the green screen likes. Okay, cool. Let's go into one that. I'm pretty sure it's not going to, there we go. Nice, huh? You can set it uh, all manner of types, but yeah. Um, at the moment, uh, the mouse only has uh, these three options. Off, uh, Spectrum Cycling, and Static. Uh, it only has those uh, those three uh, at the moment. I'm not sure if they are going to... Um, wireless mode, dim, wired mode, bright, of course. Switch off all lights when display is turned off. Cool. It's also a good, uh, good uh, power saver right there. So yeah, and then there is power. We are at 80, uh, 60, no, 86 uh, percent. Blink the scroll wheel. I would like to have. Uh, at the moment when I'm holding my mouse, I am of course, um, a, a, a righty. Uh, yeah. As I'm sitting here, yeah. I need to. I need. Yeah. The left and right for me is. Completely duh. Oh well. But yeah, as I'm sitting right here right now, it says the scroll wheel will blink. But I can't see the scroll wheel because of my big fat index finger. Yeah. I would love to have it that it is the, uh, be able to uh, click, no, not the scroll wheel, but the uh, side buttons. I'm pretty sure uh, it can, the side button can be programmed to, uh, to do that as well. Into sleep mode uh, after idle. Yeah, I'm going to have to set that down again. Uh, after idle for let's say three minutes, that's a good thing. It's a good saver, and yeah. And then you just you just leave it there. You don't have to click save or anything. Or maybe uh, well, let me just do this here. Uh, three minutes. As you can see down here, it says, "Do not move your mouse for about two seconds while changing or being applied." Okay, that should be enough time. <laughs> Then we got macros. You can do all type of macros, add-ons. Right now, uh, using the Razer Naga add-on uh, for my World of Warcraft TNTS 110 account. As you can see, it, it has all the. Uh, uh, I'm on Silver Moon at the moment with my Foxy Blue Eye as my main. <laughs> so yeah, um, when you go into World of Warcraft, uh, the Razer Naga already has a preloaded um, add-on that works with the World of Warcraft, and it's. I'm, uh, it got. Uh, it, uh, I had to make, uh, get used to it a little bit, but with the buttons down here, man, I was getting more DPS than I ever had before. <laughs> oh my god! So yeah, and then we have stats. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. There we go. Distance uh, centimeters four thousand, fourteen thousand, no four, uh, fourteen point something. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Wheel scroll twelve. That's in Battlefield Skyrim. <laughs> Mouse clicked. Uh, Armor 3, I haven't played that yet. Uh, Battlefield 4. What is? Uh, I think this one up here is, uh, yeah. It's Battlefield Hotline. Call of Duty, I haven't played that. Not, no. Counter Strike, uh, Global Offensive. No, DayZ, Death. Uh, let's see here. One I have been in playing. Uh, Minecraft. <laughs> Terraria. The Sims, World of Warcraft, all of the above today, all time. Damn. Uh, it's, it's cool as hell. Distance, 26.6 centimeters. Yeah, because it's not that much, I'm moving it. Oh, that's my little dog. Scroll wheel, roll, mouse clicked. 
profile switch macros key maps <laughs> cool yeah uh, and also this here it asks you if um uh all that you do with the mouse uh, can be uploaded to their website so they can make better mice and stuff like that what is the most you use your mouse for and then, of course uh i want to be a, one of their testers so of course i've allowed it but yeah um that's about it uh, for the unboxing and little review of the Razer Naga uh, Epic Chroma. Yeah, it's a Razer Naga Epic Chroma. It's, it's got a gargantuan long name, but what the hell. So yeah, um, as always, thank you all so very much for watching. I catch you on the flip side.